Uh, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, how you're gonna find out uh, what ta what size uh, you need the seat post if you come over the bike that's missing a seat post. And let's get into this video right now. So in order to do this task, you will need the caliper mirror and you will need this uh, toothpick and I'm gonna explain to you in a bit why, why you need that. Okay, so every time, once in a while, I come over the bike that's missing the seat post and the first thing that you want to do uh, is that uh, you want to make sure that uh, you take this uh, toothpick and you leave it here. And the reason why you want to do that is because uh, you want to make sure that this ring is uh, nice and clean and you it's not squished all the way. So by inserting uh, this uh, toothpick here, you have some gap here. So this thing is open and it's not squished. The second reason clean as much as you can. So when we measure, we get the proper measurement. Oh, by the way, before you measure or do any kind of uh, messing with this thing here, you want to do some homework. You want to kind of see what kind of seat posts can fit in this housing here, the frame set. So you want to kind of get, get your uh, confidence and see what's going on, get yourself in forward. So once we have seen that and got it up, got it nice and cleaned up, now it's the time to measure this thing. Now, now, always, I'm going to link this tool in description, always use the proper tool. So don't use the mirror and don't be measuring like this or like this because it's not going to work. You need, you need that proper measurement. And this is what's going to happen here. Okay, so I'm going to open this tool after this thing is nice and clean. And look here. Okay. Okay, so... Make sure it's nice all the way. We will measure this a couple of times, but for now, okay, what do we have here? If you look, we have 23 millimeter. Hopefully it's showing nicely. Okay, let's go, let's go again a couple of times. You see, I have the toothpick there. So this thing is nice and open all the way, just, just in case. Now you see, I'm coming at it from a different side, from a different uh, side. And look now, I'm out. And look at the measurements. Again, we have that uh, 25. Sorry, so it's showing me that it's 25 by looking at the zero. So the first time we always had 25. And look now, from here, it's 25 again. Then if you go this way, like this, 25. Very interesting. So now that we have uh, 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 properly measured that we have 25 here, let's look at the seat post over here. So here you go, this is the seat post. And if you look at the caliper mirror, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave it as it is, you know. And look now here, look, it should, it should fit there nicely. So see, it should fit with that 25. Are we doing okay? See, okay, and look here, let's get the measurement. Okay, look, just, just over 25. Now, what I will do now, uh, uh, let's try to insert it, and if you got the one that's right, you should go in quite nice and smooth there. By the way, just make sure you have some lube in there, if, uh, uh, some grease, just in case if that's gonna be the one, like in here, and it should always go with one hand, see? One of my hand is here, another hand is here. So if it's the right one, like it is in this case, it should go easy with one hand. If, it's, if you have to force it, that's not the one. So see now, this is the one, it nicely moves, everything is done, you just have to secure the bolt here, and you're all set. So this is the way, you see here, if you come back here, okay, what are we re reading? Again, that magic 25. You see, so this is how you find the, the seat post uh, size that needs to go in your frame. And that's pretty much that. Hope you found this useful. Like, subscribe, and take care.